Welcome back, Achievers. This is your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast special edition for this week. We are doing a control spoiler cast. Now, if you did not hear that, bum, bum, bum. it is a control spoiler cast. So this is all things spoiler coming from Remedy's new game, Control. So if you guys haven't played it yet, please do not listen to this yet until or you've played the game. If you don't care, yeah, listen to it anyways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean you can do that. Give too. us that watch time or whatever. Right. Alex, what's up? We've been playing Control. Yes, we have for the past five we, days. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, five, just five to five days a week. I want much. you to give your overall thoughts on the game, and then we will expound, <laughs> and then we can get into the actual story. Uh, I loved it. Oh, you loved it? Yes. Loved it? Like, not like, like <clears throat> to where it's like... Instant game of the year. Yeah, yeah, it's right. not instant. It's just, it's up there. It's, it's up there. It, yeah, it's fun. up there. I'm just, I really this enjoyed it. This is for it. sure game of the year contender for me. Yeah. I mean, I've only had maybe one downfall about it and i mean we'll get I've to had it a few we'll get to that yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I enjoyed it as well it sounds like we're around the same yeah. ballpark of how how we how much we liked it yeah i loved the powers i loved the gun of course oh yes uh, everything about it remedy knows one thing and that's gameplay yeah especially it, from it, quantum it, it, break good, yeah. like i told in the previous episode of the easy achievers gaming podcast it goes live every friday easy achievers gaming podcast live on all packet services friday and youtube Anyways, as I was saying earlier, it is as weird as Alan Wake, mm-hmm. and you are as strong as the guy from Quantum Break. Yeah. So I find that throughout this game that holds up 100% of the time. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed myself. Uh, the mechanics are pretty smooth and everything. Um, I, I, I like, because at first when they did it with Quantum Break, I, I, I thought it was iffy when they started using live characters or a, a, like it did take me out like the that. experience because i would stop halfway through playing an awesome level and yeah. then it'd be like, then it'd be like right, a mission sit back or like a, watch a tv show and i'm like yep okay i guess <clears throat> didn't hate it i did yeah. have fun but it did break up yeah. the game a with lot. this one they it just incorporated it in it so it'll be there's certain cutscenes where it's like or even pictures uh his name blanking on it already the brother darling no darling Oh D- yes, Dr. Darling. Darling. Yeah, the little that was recordings. awesome. That was Those basically real every live action yeah. thing was that, basically that was him. cool. That was awesome, and I think it was very well put into the story mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, and throughout the game, you no, find these well. uh, uh, tapes yep. that are plugged up to projectors, and then once you walk up, it starts projecting on to mm-hmm. the uh, to the screen or whatever. Yeah, to the screen. Yeah, yeah, and then you can just watch it for I would say what a minute, yeah. two and minutes. Uh, yeah, and Darling is pretty much. A scientist that's yeah. A if part you guys there forgot he, or something, Darling is the main scientist. I think he's head of basically yeah, research. And he pretty much explains everything or mm-hmm. how everything mm-hmm. works. Yeah, it shows you objects of power. Mm-hmm. Explains oldest house. Explains altered objects. Explains differences. Yeah. It's it's a gr- it's great plot device. I think. Oh god. With yeah. explaining how everything is, because one gripe I did have with the game <laughs> was it just puts you in. You yeah. start, you walk into the oldest house, there's no setup whatsoever, <clears throat> you just know you're there for whatever reason, Yep. and you know that there's something in your head you're kind of having a conversation with, Yeah. and you just go and start the game, basically. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, mm-hmm. especially one thing that I, th- I didn't think I would, because I was like, I was going through, you know, the first thing I do when I pop a game in, first thing, pop, uh, bring the achievements over, yeah, and, just, achievements. and just skim through it real quick, mm-hmm. just to see what's going on. And uh, I just want to see. It was like, okay, that could be easy. What's that? What's that? I just try not to spoil myself too much. Mm-hmm. But the best thing that I thought was going to be bad was, but that was good, was collectibles in this game. Uh, the collectibles were actually really easy to get and really fun in a way. I did like that. I <clears> could <throat> scan a room and yeah. I could see the circle. Yes. And I'm like, oh okay, I see the that circle I, over there. Run over there. That. Pick it up. Yep. So I don't have Every to actually go read searching it. for it. It's just mm-hmm. like you just skim it and you see the little outline of a circle. Mm-hmm. This uh, this does bring up a gripe I have with almost every game with an audio log because yeah. nothing has ever done it. But it does, stuff does stop playing when you walk away. Mm-hmm. I do wish there was audio logs and less actual paper reading. Yeah. That would be uh, a lot better. I, I'll love Bioshock or something. Yes, you pick up yes, audio log, yeah. hold the X, and starts playing, and you walk around. Yeah, you listen to it. Adds yeah. more of the world to yeah, it. Yeah, there was a lot of 
paper ones in this one. Like you have to yeah. read. No, it. yeah, it's definitely leaning to hey, read this, read this, read yeah. this, read this, and, and it has its place. But I'm not gonna stop this awesome gameplay to read. I'm not. I'm just yeah. inve- too invested into the story and, that, mm. and they think so. I do wish they they implemented audio logs instead of so many. Yeah, and I like how they changed them, like to where like I mean, it is a bureau, mm. and, like a mm. office, so there's a lot of files. A so lot. that's why there's files yeah. is collectible. And it wasn't and always files. Mixed Sometimes tapes it was yeah, ta- the tapes. Like tapes. Sometimes it was they. These uh, uh folders they have like they look like yep. a file on someone or something, mm-hmm. but it, they're just collectible and those mm-hmm. were pretty cool. Yeah, I loved that. <laughs> um, the uh, objects of power that yeah. you have, the gun. Yeah. What did you use? Of course, you started off with what's called grip, which is basically a pistol. The, yeah, the main. You can pistol. then upgrade it what five times, I think. So um, the grip, uh, each gun you can upgrade three times because yeah. there's and three then, slots. Yeah, there's grip, spin. Shotgun, <laughs> the, charge, the, so and the pierce, pierce, I think. Uh, spin, which mm-hmm. is the SMG. Yeah, shatter is the shotgun. Yep, shatter. That's uh, right. Pierce, pierce, which is, is like a sniper. Sniper, basically. Yeah. There's a charge. Uh, charge, which is like a rocket launcher. Yeah. And then there is one more, I believe. Um, I'm blanking. I feel like maybe I charge was it. maybe charge was the last one. Maybe yeah, the charge is the last one. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> uh, what did you use? Most uh, spin and shatter. Spin and shatter. At first, I used the exact same loadout. Spin and shatter. At first, I, I like used grip a lot. Game. I used to, I have, before I got shatter. I or it's funny. Not shatter I, spin. I got I used grip. Yeah, because you get shatter next. I used shatter. Yeah. Then when mm-hmm. I got spin, I equipped spin. I was like, okay, this is just a better version of yeah of grip. So I'm just gonna use this. And then I never even tried the other ones because I just liked my loadout so well. Yeah. Um, did love the callouts in the game. There's a couple <laughs> callouts. We're gonna go over that in a second. Mm-hmm. Um, when you are going through the um containment sector. Yeah. Did you look in each room of the see through glass? Which yeah. each object? Yeah. Did you see Mjolnir? No, I didn't see Mjolnir that. Mjolnir is in there. It's oh, not really? exact, but oh, it's obviously okay. supposed to I be must have Thor's that hammer. One on one of the floors. It's sitting there. It's a hammer. Has the same uh, handle. Mm-hmm. The top obviously looks all weird, <clears throat> like, it, but it is a hammer, so it's meant to be Mjolnir's hammer. Okay. Yeah, love that. That's cool. Uh, amazing. Yep. Yeah. Um, what did you think about how fast they put you in the game? Because, again, that was one of my one gripe. Did you mind it all? Because no. Because as soon mind. as I start, I walk in, right? You mm. walk through the doors, go all the way to the end. You meet the director by hearing a gunshot. You walk yeah. in, you notice he's killed himself. Yeah. So you walk in, grab the gun. You are now a director. Yep. And then I you actually, start the game. I actually enjoyed it because a lot of... I mean, I do enjoy tutorials sometimes, but I hate when they are... Um, they... Um, they overstay, overstay their welcome. welcome. Yep. Yes. Yep. yep. I read yes. your mind. Uh, I am the exact same way. Yeah. I, just, I do like uh, being told mm, things. Yes. We'll get to another part that they don't tell you much about. Yeah. But I I like tutorials when they are useful with specific things. They tell me one thing and then they yep. go away and then yep. maybe I can read about it if I need to. Yep. I do. I I do not like how fast they put me in it because I feel like if I had an intro, maybe if I saw ordinary. Um, which is hilarious. Yeah, maybe that the, they the original place is called Ordinary. Yeah, if maybe they would have started with a cutscene or like maybe well, right when I would. I think it would have been good enough mm-hmm. to see the scene about what happened, about, which I assume that's they what I'm because saying. of budgeting. I yeah. assume, right? You can they can fix, yeah. fit it in just that or just the last uh, the, the last scene. Of I what think that would have been on. perfect. They just set up that you walk through like the mm-hmm. dump and you find the projector you play and then you notice like everything's going wrong mm-hmm. and stuff and uh, you see Dylan get taken. Yeah, um, of course, Dylan the brother. You find out he has been captured, I guess. Yeah, basically he's captured. Been, he's, he's pretty been, much been taken. He's been taken, and then they have him in the facility to be the next director. Yeah. But something happens. I guess he accidentally kills someone, and then they lock him up for it. Is that what? Because um, I was a little confused. It did seem like he killed someone in an audio recording I heard. And then you see Darling say, an accident happened. Mm. I'll take the blame and see, so he doesn't or something like and, that and and see my thing is um so I, was I don't confused. i don't remember if the hiss was out yet because if the hiss had taken uh, you know was kind of like taking him over already then uh-huh. the hiss might have made him do it because he was already going darling to, uh, uh no uh dylan like the hiss was already oh. in dylan's mind well, so that maybe was the hiss was that, I, that's why i was like i can't yeah, remember. i don't think that i don't think that i think that was before any shenanigans were happening of course if you uh notice an error hit us up on twitter at even 9000 at crazy flip scare either one of us um we will read the correction of course next episode uh moving on though to um uh i did like that let's see yeah i um 
the the boss fights. There are a good bit in the game. Yes. Most of them side missions. Some are actually in the yep. missions. What were your favorites? Um, I did, which I just did. I'm glad I was able to do this. The, <laughs> the, the, the mirror. The mirror. The I mirror did love one. the mirror. You it, touch the glass and... Yes, and just flip over. It's like, it reminds me of Upside Down, like from Stranger Things in a way. 100%, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you walk in, everything is it's backwards. Like, it's kind of like dark and sepia looking. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. The bosses are... Um, it's one thing about the game, like a lot of RPG games, things like that. There's just so much to do. I'm like, ah, oh, do I really got to go do that side mission? I want to just stick with the main. This one, I wanted to do the side mm-hmm. missions because there wasn't that many. Yeah, I wanted right. To just there's do 18, it. you said, right? 18 um, or 15? There's 18. 18. 18 side missions. Complete side missions. Some of them are missions. faster than the others. Yeah. I saw one, you were clearing out some mold. Yeah. So, I mean, that, yeah. obviously, that was faster than going to do a side mission where you kill a, 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 yeah. a, a boss and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, pretty cool. What did you feel about the upgrade system? Um, for the for, for and, the in guns, general yeah. for the guns. Yeah. For the okay. Guns. We'll we'll get to her. And um, I like them. There was just uh, some of the ones that I've that I've used didn't mm-hmm. seem like it really did anything. Or like let's say for example, we talking about the mods. Yeah, the mods. Mm. Yeah, the mods. Like for example, like one hat is said, um energy boost or whatever like it would give me more energy i right. didn't really feel different i was like feel, i still yeah. felt like i kept using the same amount of energy mm-hmm. and then well there was it's one not of much fire. usually right because i think the energy the highest i got was 17 percent, which yeah. sounds like a lot but i feel like it uses so much energy it doesn't yeah. matter the um, only one i feel like that really helped was the health on elemental pickup I put on oh, yeah, so every time I was low right. and I find the little blue uh, lights on the floor, I would pick it up and it would just go whoop. Yep, yep, that did help a lot. Yeah, I did. Uh, really the only one that I, liked. I did put a mod on that gave me plus thirty four percent health. That was nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, I always had one that was the like individual a mods for one. the guns were pretty decent. I had a fire yeah. rate one that really helped me with my spin. That was really fun. Yeah. Um, um, I, yeah, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind. I didn't mind it. I, they were they were okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I found the the crafting system odd the astral component thing yes okay yeah i found it a little odd because i didn't i'm just picking things up i have no connection to what it is right so like for instance destiny i know i can get phase glass from earth right um so if in this one i feel like i just get stuff by killing things yeah and that makes it weird and because there's so too, many I different like. materials. I don't know what to do to get certain ones if I need yeah. this one. I feel like I just need to kill things until yep. I get it. I, that's is... all I did. I just kept killing things, and I realized I had it, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, usually. And yeah. then did you find yourself flush with source, which is the money in the game, or no? Sometimes, yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. sometimes I did. I was I was fine, but then I was like, oh, I want to try one of the mods, and I didn't have enough, and I was like, oh, well, I guess I don't know want the mod anymore. Yeah, I, ne- I never bought any mods, literally. I upgraded the I mod bought, store a few times just mm-hmm. to like see what would happen. I was yeah. like, I'm not, I don't need yeah, this. Yeah, I upgraded, so I just the, kept upgrading I upgraded the store thing to all the way to five, mm-hmm. and I, I bought like two mods. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all I've used it for, the Astro component mm-hmm. thing. Dylan, his story, I think, um, started off great. Yes, it started off good. Started but then off great. After you meet, you it, actually get to the point to meet him. I I still like that part because you can kind of see what happens with the hiss and what they're all about, yeah. which still confused me because I couldn't understand what he was saying most of the time. No, yeah, that part he's cryptic was fine. and crazy. It's to the point of getting to him. Yeah, and then I would say after leaving him in there, when you finish talking with him, mm-hmm. it kind of falls apart because you don't really see him again. Yeah. It's yeah. over, really. Yeah, you just you see, don't yeah. see Dylan again. Yep. You do see him in you these see him weird toward- flashback his things that happen throughout the yep. game. And then you just see him towards the end, like with the whole pyra- Black Pyramid thing. And yeah, he's in the Black Pyramid. I feel like near the end, they kind of rushed the ending yeah. because I feel like maybe they were had to ship it out or something. But it, I felt like when you hit the... When you get captured by the hiss, when Polaris dies. Okay. When Polaris dies <clears throat> and you get caught by the hiss... Mm-hmm. Everything past when you get out of there, I feel like is like like it and just goes like straight off and like you're, you're it, everything's wrapped up so fast that yeah. I feel like nothing was resolved satisfyingly. Yeah. Because um, for instance, I still don't a hundred percent know what's up with the old house. Maybe it's in documents. Maybe I need to. I don't know what's up with the janitor. I feel mm-hmm. like I have too yeah. many questions for uh, end yeah, of the game. Right? I finish the game. I, f- I should have a little more answers to I f- these things. I still don't completely understand what even the hits are. 
yeah I, that they didn't explain too much either mm-hmm. i just we all we know is that there's just something from another dimension or something yeah they're an evil dimension yeah. being um which doesn't help because i wanted to i don't know i don't like evil things yeah i am evil because i'm evil yeah and, and that's it and see I think maybe some sort of motivation that says the hiss are here because their dimension is breaking down mm-hmm. and they're trying to take over this world maybe yeah. something like that just something to it's, where i can say like Okay, that's what they want to do. Yeah, and see, my main, my, I think I it was probably two main gripes. This one was they didn't have me connect to these characters as yes, I wanted to. I didn't care about because, anybody. like, I cared about the main character because yeah, Jesse. I cared about her and Polaris. And see, I did not I, care about see, anyone else. I wanted in the game. to care about Polaris, but they were giving me nothing. Like when Good she point. like when like so, when we go to the thing where she, like she you have mm-hmm. to save her and kill her or or save her or whatever. Save yeah, Polaris. Nothing. I I'm like oh. Okay, I was getting dead. excited. I wanted the same. That kind of, they kind of baited us there, if well, I'm yeah. being completely see, honest. And see, because I was like, you oh, thought crap. you were going to yeah. see him. Yep. Or, and, sorry, her. Yeah. You and, thought you were going to see her. And then nothing. And then nothing. Yeah. Now, I think I connected faster with Polaris because I I thought I was supposed to be Polaris. Yeah. And maybe I still am. And But what I mean by that is the character of me controlling her, Like I am yeah. literally polaris in the story because she says and i think they are hitting at that i think they do mean that to be the true yeah so maybe that's not why they didn't want to show her because then you see it's a character but when you when i'm driving here and she says yes she's leading me i'm like okay so i am polaris but at the end you see the giant thing like this is why you got me here to Mm. save you you break everything down yep it floats in the air breaks down and, and then it. It, they i guess and see, polaris is dead but not because it's still in her body because it's a catalyst and see that's what my thing is i wish they would have gave me more of a feel like when um what's that game called? beyond two souls when they did with aiden yes i i yes. loved Which Aiden. it's hilarious because a lot of people hate beyond two souls oh but my god we I, like I we love, like beyond two souls like I, I don't understand the hate i get it to some extent because yeah. there are some cringy moments but i like beyond two souls no yeah yeah Another thing I liked about the game, the um, I know I've said this before. I just love how weird it is. Dude, Alan Wake vibes yeah. throughout. Yeah. Alan Wake oh, vibes yes. throughout. Speaking of Alan Wake, Alex, over on Kotaku, oh, man. we've got a story for you. Oh, Control is packed with Alan Wake references. This is by a Gita Jackson. Uh, let's go down. Let's go down. All right. Remedy's control takes place in New York, far from Alan Wake, setting up Bright Falls, Washington, the bureaucratic nightmare of the oldest house. The brutalist building that houses the Federal Bureau of Control could not feel further from the spooky small town vibe of Alan Wake's Washington. There are connections, and some of them are quite obvious. Let's scroll down. So, some of them are, are, are different and hard to find. Um, uh, let's do this one right here. So, a character in the game tells Jesse Faden that they've dreamed of multiple universes, and I remember this one. Mm. Quote, in one world, there's a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another, the cop was real. This seemed like a reference to both Alan Wake and Max Payne. Mm. Alan Wake being the character who wrote the stories of a noir novel about a cop, and Max yep. Payne being Game. a noir video, video yeah. game about a cop. Yep. Um, and then some of them are harder to find, so you can find a document that speaks specifically of the Bright Falls event in uh, and Alan Wake being there. Ah, um, it does. Uh, according to the in-game document, the Fair Bureau of Control went to Bright Falls two days after the events of Alan Wake to investigate, but didn't find much. They also never recovered Wake's body. Another Ooh. document catalyzes the Thermos Collectible, an item from Alan Wake that players collect for an achievement as an altered item that being studied by the Federal Bureau of Control. I don't know if you remember, but the thermoses yeah, that yeah, was yeah. part of the game, that's an altered item in the game. I wonder if you can game. find those in the containment thing. If you're still not convinced, maybe oh, this will help. Okay. Alan Wake shows up in control. If you go exploring the fifth floor of the Monopticon in the containment sector after you've gotten the... Levi- uh, the uh levitation thank you jesus i don't know why i was struggling you'll find a hidden area with both wake and the thermos and then there's a video embedded i'm gonna have to go to the fifth floor because i don't think i ever went to the fifth floor i watched it yeah right before this yeah awesome is it really so you walk in see the thermos yeah next room you walk up he's not in there yeah he starts talking and i'm curious on what all he said means okay i know he's describing Alan Wake 1, kind of. Okay. Because the thing of Alan Wake 1, he was writing and it seeming to become real. 
Yeah. And he was kind of stuck in this. And I remember he was like with his wife and stuff, right? Yes. Like he was going on a yeah, trip. Yeah, and his or... wife just disappeared. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he had writer's block. Yeah, so yeah, he had yeah, a, yeah. He went to the thing, uh, this cabin in the woods mm-hmm. around this really small thing. Yep. And he started writing, and then he noticed next day, Things darkness, happening. everything's yep. dark. I need to go play that game again. <sighs> so good. I so good. Underrated. Oh, God, Not yeah. many people talk about it. Not many people talk about it. I'm going to bring up my things real quick. Um, Issues with frame rate. Uh, plenty. Yes. Now, I want to say that as both a critique of the game, but also a compliment of the game. Mm-hmm. I have never seen a game, and I could be wrong about this, but I've never seen a game so interactable mm-hmm. and so destructive. Meaning the environments, almost everything can be moved or broken. That I I and love that. Almost everything can be damaged in some way. Yep. Like even if you just walk now, around a table, it starts moving. Like I said, like, that I is that. amazing. But God, the game sometimes cannot handle all that happening. For instance, let's say I grab a desk. Okay. And there's five people around me. If I grab that desk and that desk hits something else on the way to me, mm-hmm. everything gets hit. Including, like, let's say an enemy hits. Most of the time, that's going to stutter because there's just so much happening. There was one time that I blew something up. Mm -hmm. The entire room, like, just, like, I blew something up and just went, and the whole room moved. Everything in there, you know, the desk, everything, and the game just went, like, trying to catch up with everything. Yeah. And that happened a good bit of times. Did you have a similar experience? Because I found that that happened a good bit. And again, it's almost a compliment to the game. Because it seems too ambitious. Mm-hmm. There's so much going on that like it's having a hard time catching up, which is surprising because I was on a One X. Yeah, we're both playing on Xbox One X. I was expecting yep. perfect gameplay, and, and I was getting a little stuttering. Could be I the game, it, could be it, the system. I think sure. it's the game because I maybe had one issue like that, but I, then I had every single time I would press uh, select mm-hmm. or pause it, mm-hmm. and when I go back and forth from mm-hmm. it. It would immediately frame rate. It would take about three to four seconds. It's almost and then like it would stop. buffering in a video. For yeah, you, pretty much it, to, to kind of describe it. It kind of stutters for a second, and then it goes. And then back it to goes. Normal. Yeah, and so, it's just it's. But it, like with mine, it was just getting a little annoying. It was very because annoying. I would pause or just just check uh press select just to look at my stuff real quick, and then I would just unpause it. Immediate stutter, and I'm like, all right, here we go. Again. Yeah, it did get old, but yeah, I think the game is. So I think it's just an issue with the game. Uh, yeah, which I mean, they can patch it out. Yeah, hopefully they can patch it because this just seems a slight thing because right. everything else was awesome. Mm-hmm. The mods. We were speaking about the mods earlier. Mm-hmm. Wish I could carry more. I think it's very annoying that I can only carry 20. Uh, I find myself deleting mods all the time. Yeah, I think for the personal mods for yourself, I think it's 24. And then, like mm-hmm. I, like you said, I think for the weapon is 20. But yeah, it's just I wish that you could just scroll and carry a bunch as you want. I mean, a hundred would have been yeah. much nicer, but I get it. it I'm sure it's, I mean, it was I, having problem with the environment, and maybe it couldn't devote too much memory to yeah. the actual inventory you have. Alex, no. my favorite part of the game mm. is your favorite part as well: mm. the cassette in the maze. Mm-hmm. The ro- so that cassette the, rock scene. What is it called? The fire pit maze or something like that. Oh, the uh, it's the astral maze. No, I feel like that's. Whoop! I just that was a water, water bottle. bottle. <laughs> I, 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 I don't one. remember what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's like fire something or something. It, it's amazing in the game. Yeah, and yeah you guys awesome. remember because you played the game. You have to go to the janitor, which janitor we need to hit it right after this. But you get the cassette, you run through it. You, you're playing like this awesome songs while you're going through this maze because you have to have the cassette on while you're going through the maze. Mm-hmm. Best part of the game. Loved it. Astray Maze. The Astray Maze? Okay. A- Astra- Astra- like Ash and uh-huh. Trey. Ash. Astray Maze. Astray Maze. That's right. Yeah, it had a weird ass name. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, Astray Maze. Fun. Love that part. Probably yes. my favorite part in the game, aside yeah. from the very ending where I felt super strong. Oh, God, You know what yes. I'm talking about? Yeah. When I was fighting level 30 people, which yeah. was weird. Oh, I was like level 30. Yeah, level 30. And then I trying throw, to get Dylan? And I throw one thing at him, and they just... just and, they, and then I shoot someone, and then just... I was like, "Oh, I'm level 32," and I just, I just go, like, I'm just throwing stuff, like, like mm. once you master the gameplay, you you feel yeah. like Magneto, Jean Grey, insert superhero yeah. here. You feel like a superhero. Yep. Because you can just um, levitate real quick, shoot something real quick. The amount of times I just, levitate, uh, shoot this guy, grab grab a grenade, throw it at somebody, mm-hmm. fist pound the ground, look up, and shoot it's pretty cool because um, like the. 
the things you can nail in the game. Oh God, yes, so much fun, and it's so great. And it's funny because um, there's a certain perk in the game or uh, upgrade for your uh, for your stuff for your levitation or for your uh, for your launch. It's what it's called. And um, when you get the large people low enough, you can pull, you can grab their body. I saw and that. Throw I, it I don't have someone. that upgrade yet, I, but I, I got, got the small one. Yeah, and it's just an insta kill. I love it because yeah. I'll get them low, and it's like I can carry them. So I just go. Yeah, the next one after is the big people, and you can just grab them when they're low, and you that's can just insane. throw. It. Yeah, that's insane. I love it. Um, there's a fake ending in the game. Did it trick you? At first, yes. It tricked me as well. Yes, it did. Because I was I, like, I, it yeah. hit the game, and I was like. Okay. The re- right. the re- that's, gonna, the, that's how it's going to end. See, the way I knew Whatever. that I was like, there's no way it's ending because I only finished mission nine and I knew there was 10 missions. Oh, so you were meta about it. You already knew like the layout Kinda. of the game. I see. Yeah, because I, I didn't. I, so to give you a little backstory, I uh, heard the game kind of ended abruptly. Yeah. And I was like, Jesus, they weren't kidding. That was abrupt. Yeah. There's no ending. You just get caught by the hissing in it, yep. and then you slowly see. Because I saw writing in the yeah, very the beginning of the credits. That's why I because if you it saw too. people were already writing on the credits above people's names, yeah. if you saw the very director was mm-hmm. what was his name, no one or something like that. Like the the I think the game director was called like nobody or something like yeah. that. Like like just something. And I was like, that's weird. And then I started seeing writing everywhere. I was like, this is fake. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And then you click into the his. Your it's like it's the alternate your, the alternate reality thing, or like a memory uh, thing. I think that's her head, right? I, I assume would fail because it, the yeah. his have her. Yeah, I'm assuming. Which I don't. I wonder where she is in that point. Is she? I'm wondering walking if maybe around she, as a his. I'm wondering if maybe she's just a unconscious, unconscious. Yeah, and unconscious, maybe they just yeah. got in her head, and, and that's just her head playing mind games on her. That's true. That's true, and we don't know the time frame of any of that too. That could, was that ten minutes? Was Again, that an hour? Was have. that two days? Like, we, also, we don't really have a good time of anything. In we control. never know what's going on. Like, it always just seems it's like nighttime, been a, an which hour, I assume. Could have been a day. I assume it's supposed. To, I, I assume this is all in one night. I assume this is like assume a so. week. I assume she enters and maybe in game hours, mm-hmm. seven hours, maybe six hours. I to feel do like all the this, amount of time that it took us to do all, all the game is the <laughs> it was, about, time. It was yeah. about the time she did it interesting yeah, yeah that's an interesting way of looking at it. um get some notes here. so yeah um i want to go over the oh and i thought it was funny that again ordinary mm-hmm. they kind of hit the nail on the head they're a little uh they hit the nail on the head with calling it ordinary. I feel it's like okay, I get it. Yeah, they, so she's coming from ordinary, and all yeah, this she is becomes weird. crazy. Yeah, I was like, well, okay, that's cool. Again, love the uh, the physics are insane in mm-hmm. this game. Best yeah. physics I've probably ever seen. One of the best physics. Yeah. Um, if you hit a table, like this will fall off. So yeah, love the physics. Again, two the game is deprimant because it messes the game up. Yeah. Did run into a bug. Um. I couldn't get a checkpoint to spawn, so I had to keep restarting that part, and then I had to run all the way back, and then run all the way forward, killing it, make sure to kill everyone to get the actual checkpoint to spawn. So that was mm. a little annoying. That yeah. was really it. Um, wish there was an easier way to get back to the janitor. I know he's not far, but you yeah. know you, that's how you get the missions, right? Yep, you have to go to his. Uh, you, you have, have to, to go, go to him, but I wish it was just a fast travel to his room. Yep, because you have to go to ventilation, and then you have to go walk around, all the way around the thing, and then you have to go in, and then I always go into the one on the left. Yep, and then the janitor's office is forward, but I always hit the left. And I'm like, damn it, this isn't. Yeah, I, I have to like right. every like a couple steps. I've been like, all right, map. All right, I'm going the right way. Now that you brought up the map. I feel like this is one of the worst maps in any game I've ever played. I'm being full on serious. Yeah. It is very hard to read. It doesn't yeah. show you elevation. It, nope. Oh, it, my God, it, no. You don't know what part you're on. You, you have to kind of guess. Mm. I hated it, and I hope they fix it. Yeah. Maybe not patch it, but fix it in the sequel because this is not yeah. the sequel. The only thing that I like about the map is that whenever you have a next mission you track it, you can scroll down through where you're at, and then it'll show. And then it'll, it'll it's highlighted yellow, so it'll show, it'll show you. That was where. nice. I agree. Yeah. So I like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there was like no elevation. I'm like, what am I? What thing am I on? Where am I at? How do I get here? There was a lot of times I got lost, and I was like, this yeah. is getting annoying, and it's like killing the fun vibe. I'm having fun. I want to go kill this hiss, and then I'm like, is it through this door? Okay, I'm on the wrong side. I have to be here, so I gotta. Run all the way around. Yeah, I wish it was in. more okay, of now a... now I'm in uh, here. Okay, let me run in. I wish it was more of a... It keeps getting in the way of itself, I feel yeah. like. 
I feel like um, they should have made more of an in-game compass or like either above the HUD or in-game mm. to where like you can see the, like the yellow diamond all thing. It needed, you can follow it instead of having it to go to the map every time. All it needed was like Destiny, Borderlands, Quest Tracker. Yeah. Where when you turn a quest on, the diamond isn't where you need to go. The diamond is leading you leading, to yeah. the place. So you, oh, okay, my bad. Yeah. So you hit the hallway. Yeah, yeah. once you hit the hallway, it changes hall- to where yeah, you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's all we needed. Yeah, that, that would have been so much and easier. And that would have made it way easier. Yeah. Um, I did like the idea of objects of power, altered mm. it, it It creates this lore so quickly, I feel. And it's very interesting narrative tool they use that immediately it's like yep objects of power there are places of power as well yeah. there's altered items which are different from objects of powers and then you can do it here it does get very convoluted very quickly but oh, i God, did yeah. like that that they kept yeah, adding the fridge mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> the fr- God, the fridge yeah. what was that thing i wish again it was apparently it was an altered item no no no. but yeah. like what was the thing inside oh of i it? don't know like if you look at the fridge demon? by the way there was a uh, drawings of the demon thing it was that what i, I yeah. thought that's so i looked at it, i was like is that the drawing of the thing yeah weird some kid probably yeah. saw it oh, mess with which kids, is weird man. yeah don't mess with kids um i see that people <laughs> Um, the, 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 the anchor fight was fun. I still need to do that one. Yeah, you do. I think that's the. One. I think let's talk about Auti. Oh, Audi. Yeah, Audi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Fucking, what fucking weird. What's going on? First off, I barely understand him. Which I guess I don't think I'm supposed I, to. Understand I know. I think he's. I think that's the point. I, th- I, think I don't think supposed you're supposed to, be, to completely understand him. Yeah. I think. The, I think he's gonna be a lead into the next game. I think because repeatedly he keeps saying, I. He knows what's happening. Yeah. Like he I, at first saying, I thought he was the whole He was thing in your it. head too. Yep. Do you remember? Yep. He's the janitor. He's, even when you're still lost, he goes, Oh, you look kinda lost. Do you like know where you're going? Yeah. And then like you're confused and you just walk away. And the entire time I'm like, Who are you? Are, yeah. And I want theories. What do you think Audi is? I'll lead because I feel like I'm correct. I think he's the house. Yeah. I think he is some sort of personification of the house mm-hmm. in the looks of a janitor and yeah. he basically kind of runs it yeah kind of not so really it's, it's kind of like um remember in the game celeste in that, that there's a yes. one mission where you got to go to the hotel and there's yeah. like this ghost and he's yeah. pretty much like in charge of that yeah he, like i feel like it's kind of like, like, like that yeah like he's yeah, not I really a person he's just he's just a, no, he's definitely not a person no yeah he's, he's not he's a just part of the house so he just creates a, per, a persona, the janitor, to which talk to, to, to yeah, to talk, talk to, to people and watch over. Very that. badly talk to people. <laughs> hey, that's who he wants to be. Um, it takes a holiday. Can, no one, hey, no one pays attention to the janitor. And do you think there's any story resemblance to the holiday, or do they just want us to kill some time? What do you mean? So, do you think there's any story ramifications from him going? Because when he says holiday, is he le- like? Oh, he's you not mean, leaving. Like, he's, like he's going on vacation. What is? I, what do you I, think that means? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, uh, when the, when he said he was going on vacation, I mean, was that no? Do you think he was connected to Polaris? No, no? I think he just is aware of you in some way because he okay. can hear your thoughts. Hmm. In the beginning of the game, he says something you thought of. Yeah. I think he's connected to the astral plane. I think is okay. Because my only thing is like also, he disappeared right after Polaris. So do you too. know what the? Well, he technically left before. Was it before or was it? Yeah, because okay. he leaves on the vacation, gives oh, yeah, you the cassette yeah, yeah. player, oh, yeah. and then you go do then all that go, stuff. Yeah, good point. Another thing. What's... Uh, what, uh, oh, damn it. I lost it. No, never mind. I was thinking because uh, the board wasn't really... Thank you. Exp- yeah. You just brought that up. I okay. was literally going to ask about the board. Okay. Do you think he's what? part of the board right no, now? No, I don't think so. No? I think the board is every director ever, don't you think? I would, I would assume so. If it's not every director ever, maybe it's the astral plane talking to you mm-hmm. in some way because it, it, you, it has to be connected to the astral unless, plane. Yeah, unless it's past director. And we know and the director they, goes to the astral plane when he yeah, died because yep. he can still speak with you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There are past directors that have died or are in the astral plane so now. So maybe that's what it is or maybe they're just it's higher ups because i mean there's higher ups better than more than directors maybe another interesting there's point. another dimension that's hi- that's in charge of the older house or the old house whatever it's called it was cool when they made the video about explaining the old house we just found this in 1984 mm-hmm. and we established it as our thing in 1986 and then it, it's it's fun because 
it doesn't seem like anyone knows how things are made. Mm-hmm. They just walk, they just come into it and something's there. Yep. Weird. Did you uh, do, uh, do you feel how like like when they never show the building from the outside? Uh, when you go they inside, do. no, you never you, you were never outside. Yeah, at the very beginning of the game. And then they show pictures of the outside. Oh, did they? So they explain. Oh, why yeah, they like as she, as she walked in. Yeah. They explain why people. They, it seems like there's some sort of anomaly that makes people not want to look at it. Okay. Like not even like not pay attention to it. Yeah. It seems to not attract attention from it's people that, who that don't belong huge. there. The place is the biggest building has to be almost in the world because yeah, like it's, it's not per- even tall it's also it's deep, super it, wide yeah. like i was i was riding the elevator i forgot which one it was but it was going to some some office when i was i watched the map as i was riding the elevator it doesn't go up or down the elevator goes diagonally it was weird interesting i have to we'll show you that but like i said it's like yeah the thing went si- it was like sideways towards the map up and i was like all right, Willy Wonka. It's like the a, this game it definitely. It's, it, it's, when they explain the oldest house, it says it's interdimensional. So there yeah. is no end house. I see. I don't yeah. think. I don't think there's an actual house. I think it's all just dimensional gateways to yeah. separate places, to rooms, or something. Like I don't know. Maybe there is an yeah, actual it, house in it. Or something. well, I mean that one mission where you have to go find Audie, and then he gives you the cassette. Like the downstairs what area, that, that darkness area. Like what it felt like it was that world? one room. Like also. A ball, mm, Black Rock? Oh, yeah. What was it? I walked out, and I was like, what? Yeah. There's space in here? Yeah, like, we're outside now? I, I, I think we were in space or something. Or maybe know. a different planet. I don't know. But it was weird. That was insane. Did you, did you think there was some sort of trickery with the, the Federal Bureau of Control? Because in midway through, I, I was thinking... I was like, this would be an interesting narrative choice if they if we found out the hiss are the good guys, because uh, yeah. I got sneaking suspicions that these guys were just, maybe not inherently evil or bad, no, but just, they were doing something they were, wrong, being taken or something and experimented on. Or and something. I, yeah, I thought maybe they were going to turn out to be the bad guys, and Dylan was actually right, but he is still crazy. Yeah, but that none of that. Not like, I don't know. Like I guess like, they they could have done so much, but they, it's like I like I never got in touch with those characters i'm just like yeah i uh kelly i think her name is who is exactly i think the blonde Uh, chick that you always talk to emily 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 pope exactly i didn't even know her her name so it is annoying that we don't care about anyone i do care a little bit about dylan which speaking of dylan weird motherfucker uh, well that and like it just ends with him you see okay here's mine and you reminded me of what i was talking about earlier when we uh when we look for him and he's not in a cell and we're like oh crap where, where, crap where is he emily check it call, uh, calls you or whatever talks to you and she's like dylan's here yeah and he's waiting for you or whatever yeah that's it like like i figured once we get to that part there would have been like a crazy cutscene of you showing up and seeing him and things happen and then you he, he'll get contained into the thing what's but it just pops up to where like, oh he's already in the box you get to talk so to what's him. crazy like, is really? um you would think you would get a reunion, and we yeah. never really did. Yeah, like that. To be fair, it's not Dylan. They make it clear it's not Dylan. Yeah. He, you even ask him. He's like, it's like, it, are you? Yeah. It, don't you ask? Are I you am Dylan? Dylan? He's but like, I'm not. I am. Not, I am Dylan, but I am uh, not Dylan. I think that's. what he I said. think is what he says. I am Dylan, but I am not Dylan at all, or something like that. Yeah. And, and he basically says, "I Dylan is inside of me, but he is. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I am not Dylan. I am." his yeah or whatever just, he wants to call himself i just i felt like they could have done so much more with the with the story to make it and more, also i don't i feel like i don't know dylan enough to like is he a bad guy because he was locked up in a cell and see i really wish um they would have gave him like maybe like uh a chapter to where you get to play as him and um okay. you'll be like let's say after you get taken to ordinary maybe a couple years later and you're you you're as him and then you watch him actually get taken or control or oh, something God, by this the would, his. This, this would have helped a lot. At the very because then, then we would have been like, oh, okay. But now what we see why he's, a, why he's that way. So it happened really fast. But you find out that the previous director is the one who let the hiss in. Yes, because he used the, the projector. So but see, they said never, he was the first to be controlled by the hiss. How? So how was he controlled by the hiss? Did, do you know? I don't remember. Okay, yeah. no. Well, I just beat this yesterday. I, and see, I and saw I, all, I, all I heard was... Um, 
I don't remember his name, but the former director is the one who let them in. Trench? He yes, thank you. Director Trench is who is the is the guy who let everyone who in. Who let everybody in. And I'm trying to figure out. And he was how, he why. was the first to control by the hit. And I was maybe it was when they were doing um, the experiments. It's, yeah, because remember that, they were experimenting on the slide projector, trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, remember they out sent what it is. teams in. Yeah. They were sending teams to try and recover stuff. Yeah, maybe it was like that. So I'm I'm gonna use so another uh, ups, uh, another Stranger Things analogy. It's like the upside down. They sent people into that portal thing. To, yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, to investigate the, and they yeah. get destroyed. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just I feel like they could have done so much better with the story. Yeah, yeah. That's gameplay my, was on really fire. Thing. Yeah, gameplay. I think this I loved is another it. thing with Quantum Break. Yeah, Quantum Break. Amazing gameplay. Story. I'm almost and see I'm honestly. Asleep. <laughs> I liked the story for Quantum Break. No Quantum way. Break better. Really? Yes. Wow. I like. Quantum, I, I can't agree with that. I like Quantum Break's story better. Mm, I don't because, agree because, but... and it's weird because the, the live action episodes were so weird. But that helped. That I that helped. I don't disagree with you. I just when I'm playing this the gave game, me really. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Like I like I said, it's, it's really good. Like the the, the combat, mm-hmm. awesome, everything like that. But the story wise, I feel it's like just I so just abrupt. like Quantum Break better. It's just so abrupt. Mm-hmm. If you got maybe another three three five hours, I feel with yeah. the story, because honestly, ten missions is a little too quick for me. Because honestly, I, it's a, and I, now we are giving it a lot of a lot of flack. There yeah, are no, DLC yeah. coming. No, yeah. So there I'm is a chance something. they could redeem themselves. That. That they fix things, that they fix plot holes, mm-hmm. just like Namorison said. Uh, Namorison said about Kingdom Hearts. Mm-hmm. I'll just fix the plot holes after the game releases. Oh, yeah. convenient, Namorison. <laughs> convenient. So maybe, yeah. maybe they're working on something that makes everything make sense. Maybe the DLC has nothing to do with the story. I don't know. All we know is there's two story campaigns. I think. Well, let's hope. Cause... Let's hope. Let's hope. Yeah. Because I'm closing mean... thoughts, Alex. Um... Do you recommend this game? Yes. Yeah, yes. I do too. Yes. Is it? Um, in your top five game of the year so far yes i would because i i'm honestly i would give it an eight you said uh i would do probably yeah i would give it you an eight. said earlier i thought it was interesting that um this was uh definitely contender but for sure not winning right yes yeah i don't think so either yes. i think i don't feel like it i don't think it's gonna win um but i feel like it's it is up there for sure mm-hmm mm-hmm mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, it's one thing because, I mean, there's still so many games coming out. Of course, of course. Right? I mean, we're we talking got, about top we, five. Hours, I mean, we got yeah. Gears in... Today, two, technically. Two, uh, two days, technically, because the, it comes out the 5th at night. Uh, fifth, uh, min, uh, that night not the, oh, that's right. Yeah. So, technically, so today, we got two, we got two days. Technically, yeah. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday night, midnight, yep. we can play it. Right? No. no. Thursday, Thursday, midnight. Midnight, sorry. Yeah. Everyone's got codes now, so I'm messed up. Yep, because people who get early codes yep. are talking about the game. Right? Yep, we should. That's why we should be able to do. Yep, yep. I'll contact Xbox. <laughs> yep, I wish. <laughs> Can I have Gears codes? Who are you? Listen, sir, I have plenty of subscribers. How many? Yeah. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> right? We have plenty of content. Let's wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for listening. We have great times talking about this spoiler cast. We loved control. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Hit us up on Twitter at EVM9000, at CravySubscriber, at Easy Achievers, if you want just our general account information. If you liked our content here, please hover over to patreon.com slash Easy Achievers. At the $1 tier, you can get a Patreon exclusive every month. At the $5 tier, you can get every episode two to three days early. Thank you guys so much for listening. Hit us up on our socials, again, at EVM9000, at CravySubscriber, Instagram, Twitter. Have a good one. Have a good one.